Hey guys, so today I have another empties video. Um, I wanted to do this before it gets too outrageous because I've used up quite a bit of stuff since my last empties. So let's just jump on in to this big old basket of empty bottles. So first of all, I used up the Caress Daily Silk White Peach and Silky Orange Blossom Silkening Body Wash. Um, this, I was so glad that I loved the scent and didn't get sick of it or anything because without having tried it before, I got the three pack from Sam's Club because I was just tired of running out of body wash all the time and then having to use Justin's and smelling like a guy. And <laughs> yeah, so, um, but yeah, it's just a really nice kind of refreshing light scent and I really like it. And I'm on to my second bottle from that three pack. So yeah, I like it. It doesn't dry my skin out or anything. Um, and again, that's the white peach and silky orange blossom. So I do really enjoy that. And then I use up my Mavi Belly Butter by Burst Bees. It's all gone. I did really like this. Um, I had mentioned it several times before. I used it on my belly, of course, and um, now I have one from a different brand that I got on Zulily, but I would use this again. I did like it, so yeah. And then the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. Um, I know I've mentioned this before. Love it. I use it before I blow dry and then again before I straighten. So I think it works well and it's pretty cheap cheapest I've seen it is at like Target and stuff like that. It's a bit more at Ulta. It's like $5.50 or something. At Target it's usually like $3.99. Um, and then this is something I usually would just toss out without including in this empties for some reason. But um, I usually get these for my purse. The Tresemme Extra Firm Control um, kind of mini size. 4.2 ounce size hairspray. Although um, right now I just have a regular <laughs> full size can of hairspray in my purse because it fits and um, I might just start doing that. I don't know because my regular hairspray has better hold and uh, I get tired of buying these all the time. Although I mean I'm probably not going to be going through these as fast once I'm not like using them at work and stuff, but I don't know, whatever. I do like this though. And right now I'm liking the uh, Tresemme um, Platinum Strength something or other, their newer hairspray. So anyway, and of course I used a uh, Two of the Not Your Mother's She's a Teeth Volumizing Hairspray. So, yeah. You know I use that all the time. And then the Clear Scalp and Hair Beauty Therapy Damage and Color Repair Nourishing Shampoo. Um, this is a little bit too thick for me. I used it up by mixing it with a thinner shampoo. Which do I have that in here? No. Oh, it's not used it up yet. But, um, yeah. Just a little bit too thick for me which I mean maybe now that my hair is a little bit shorter um it might work better but um yeah and then the Mario Badescu special cleansing lotion C I'm using another bottle of this now um thankfully during the Ulta like 21 days of beauty or whatever they had a 25% off Mario Badescu one day um which Mario Badescu is on the like higher end side of Ulta so like the regular coupons usually don't apply so if whenever they have a sale or a coupon that I actually can use I like to do that so I did get a new one of these for 25% off <coughs> yeah and then the Bosch and Loam Peroxiclear Hydrogen Peroxide Contact Solution I've mentioned this before, um, I know a lot of us wear contacts, 
Um, I'm basically almost blind without my contacts. <laughs> but um, I feel like this just cleans them really, really well. And um, with any others, like I just get like kind of build up that just starts to bother my eyes and make my contacts kind of blurry. Probably because of all the like makeup and hairspray and you know. But this just works really well and I feel like I can get like a few weeks longer out of my contacts. You know, it's not really good for you, but you know, we're all on a budget here. So yeah, I do like that. And then this I just put in here today. I finally got a new bottle of my Philips Milk of Magnesia, which I do use on my face to help keep it matte. This feels kind of heavy. I don't know if it's just plastic or if there's just so much dried like around the sides or what. But I have had this since last June when I first started using Milk of Magnesia on my face. So yeah, obviously it lasted a long time. And I just finally got a new one. So hey, for like two, three dollars and you have a good like mattifier for your face for like almost a year. You can't really beat that. So did like that. And this I also usually throw away without mentioning, but um, I did use up a bar of the Dr. Bronner's Lavender Pure Castile Soap. This is what I use to wash my beauty blender every morning. Um, yeah, so this is the packaging from the new one. But I just like the lavender one. I like the scent. Um, I have tried the baby mild one, but I felt like that didn't clean it as well. So yeah, I just like the lavender. And then I used up, this isn't really beauty, but you know, we all like candles and good smelling scents and stuff. There's a Scentsy Jet Set Go Scentsy Bar. I love this. It's just kind of a really refreshing, kind of clean scent. Yeah, I really like this one. I already got two um, others recently from my friend Hannah who sells it. Um, yeah, I really don't switch up my Scentsy bars enough, but lately I've been trying to switch them out a little bit more. Um, cause if you don't know, Scentsy, you just put in the little wax warmers and the bar will basically make your house smell good for like about 12 hours or so and then you need to put in a new bar. So yeah, I do really like my Scentsy and yeah, this one smells really good. Around the springtime, I really, really like those just fresh, clean kind of scents. Um, some other ones I like are the Clean Breeze and Luna. Um, clean Breeze just smells like straight up clean laundry and it's actually a really strong one. Um, but yeah, this one's kind of a mix of that and it just, it's just refreshing. Enough about that, that I get. And then a body wash I had used up before, that other one was the Soft Soap Black Orchid and Velvet Hibiscus. Um, I did really like this. I don't know if I'd repurchase it, but... Um, I don't remember. Mm. Yeah, it's just a little bit more florally. I did like it, but yeah, I think I do like the other one a little bit better. And then a Rite Aid Renewal Oil Free Makeup Remover. I continue to repurchase these because you get more for your money and it's cheaper than like the Neutrogena and it works fantastic. I use it to take off my eye makeup before I wash my face because I wear like, you know, waterproof mascara and everything and that's really hard to get off. So yeah, I do like that. And then the Mario Badescu Buffering Lotion. I had had like a teeny bit left of this for a long time because I wasn't using it a whole lot. Um, but I did get also pick up another one of these just to have on hand for the occasional like bad, bigger breakout. These work really well to help shrink cysts a little bit faster. And, um, yeah, so I did want to have that on hand, so I picked up one that had the 25% off, another one of these, and then out of breath, yeah. Anyway, it works good for, like, cystic acne, which thankfully I haven't gotten a whole lot of lately, but, yeah, it does work really well. Oh, I guess I had another one of these in here, too. Another lavender 
pure cast eye soap. So yeah, there you go. I've used up two of those, I guess. Um, Origins Vitizing Energy Boosting Moisturizer. <sighs> this, sadly, is like completely full. But I've just had this for like at least two, maybe three years. So I'm sure it's expired. It has SPF. Um, this was just, I should have given it away like a long time ago or something. I know I got a discount on it, so it's not like I paid full price, but still Origins is a little bit pricey. Um, but yeah, this was something I really wanted to love, but it was just too greasy for me. So I just couldn't make it work. So yeah, this is like full. So anyway, that has to go. Um, then I'm tossing this Coverall Outlast in 832 Nude Beige. This was a good kind of semi-spring saltian sort of color, which now that it's been upright a little bit, it seems like I have more left in here, but I think it's expired, so yeah. This has 14 on there, something. It's hard to read the expiration dates on these. But um, yeah, I do like Corolla Outlast, but I haven't been using it as much lately. So these bottles I've had since like last year, I'm starting to expire, so yeah. So that has to go. And then the Chi Magnified Volume Conditioner. I've mentioned this before in favorites. I absolutely love this conditioner. It detangles my hair really, really well. Um, I go through conditioner like crazy, like faster than shampoo. But um, yeah, it's paraben free and all that good stuff. I really love this stuff. And then we have two uh, Physicians Formula Eye Booster Lash Boosting Eyeliners. Um, the brown one I did use up and I'm on to a new one that this is just my holy grail of all time eyeliner absolutely love it um the black one however I I've never heard this from anybody else but for some reason like the black one gets into my crease somehow but the brown one never does it was really weird. Like one day when I had like nothing left in here and I could just could not get enough out, I had to use a little bit of the black one and then I ended up, sure enough, with like a little bit of it in my crease. I don't understand why. It's just the same thing and you know, just a deeper color. But it did. So I don't know. Whatever. It's just weird. But um, yeah. So I love the deep brown one. But not the black. Plus I just feel like it looks too harsh on me. Alright. And then just two more things. I have the Sally Professional Jumbo End Drops. These last forever. And if you're wondering why I have these, which I don't even know how you use them regularly, but um, these make amazing blotting papers and they are so so cheap like seriously stop buying blotting papers and just go get these because you will save so much money I wish I had discovered these like way back in high school or college or something so um yeah they just look like this so they even fit in like those other little packets that you might have from blotting papers if you're oily, oily like me um, so yeah have this other box that I'm using and it comes with a thousand for like just a little over two dollars and as you know if you have a Sally's membership there um, everything's even like a little bit less so it's just over two dollars I think it's like three dollars if you don't have a Sally's membership so yeah seriously just go get some of these and don't buy blotting papers yeah just don't <laughs> Um, and then I want to include this sample of the Polish Choice Hydrolyte Moisture Infusing Lotion for normally normal oily and combination skin because I don't know if it was just mine 
or what, but um, the smell of this was so bad that I had to wash it off my face like a minute after I put it on. I just couldn't stand it. It was that bad. It just smelled gross and foul, like something spoiled or something. So I don't know if like this packet is really old or if that's just how it smells. So yeah, I would not buy that lotion. So again, that's the Hydrolyte Moisture Infusing Lotion from Paula's Choice, which I do like Paula's Choice. I use other products that I do like, but yeah, I wouldn't buy that one. Okay, so that is all for my empties. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Today is a beautiful day, so I want to get out there and do something. Maybe a little bit of yard work. Maybe plant some flower seeds or something. But yeah, I feel like my hips aren't going to let me do too much because I'm already really sore from running around like a crazy person. Yesterday, I had lots of errands to run, and then I put up my new curtains and had to iron all six of the 84 inch panels and just, yeah, it was busy. So, yeah, um, I should have a haul coming up soon, kind of collective stuff, and then maybe another pregnancy vlog soon. So, yeah, so I will see you guys soon. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one very soon. Bye guys.